line. Three, two, one, power up. All right, and we're short a red robot for this match. Another three on two. 35-12. Now they've got a penalty on our autonomous, but they also control their switch. And 24-93, looks like they had a power cube. They drop that, they control their switch. So both switches under control by the respective alliance. Blue has the scale at the moment. And 35-12 balances out a little bit. You can tell by the flashing lights who's got it. Blue Alliance still retain ownership now. They add additional cube for insurance. 35-12 gonna try and interfere with that plan as well. There's a scale back in balance. Well, another flag waves for the Red Alliance here. And the blue lights flash. That means that blue still retains it. They've deflected the scale just enough by having the cubes far enough away from the pivot point. They're just like one cube ahead of the red uh, team. It's balanced, but this position there. Now let's see if red can take it back. And they do. Now red scoring for the scale. Both switches in play for their respective alliances. No cubes have gone back through the exchange station to the human players to load into the vault. And a red flag again waves. Thirty-five, twelve, having as much uh, success as they are penalties, I think. They do control the scale, but they seem to interfere with it enough to incur penalties. Forty seconds to go now. Very close match. Now three cubes in the vault for the Red Alliance. If they play that, Gotta push the button. You can see the five lights. Now thirty-five, twelve. Helping their alliance partner, using plenty of time here, still 20 seconds for 848 to load on up. They've got a virtual climb, so it's possible that they could get a qualification point by lifting all three robots off and facing the boss. But 10, not seven seconds, six, five, they're up. Four, three, two, one. with a win for them. They are gonna walk out of here with four alliance points. Actually, no, three, excuse me, three ranking points. One point for the quest.